மாரடி அவர்களே நெல்சன் அவர்களே மேடையில் எதிரிலே அமர்ந்திருக்கும் பெரியோர்கள் அனைவருக்கும் எனது இனிய மாலை வணக்கங்கள் குறித்தார் இந்த இது வெண்ணு சொல்லக்கூடிய இந்த இடமானது ரொம்ப சிறப்பாக அமைந்திருக்கு இந்த மாதிரி கிடைக்கிறது என்பது மிக கஷ்டம் ஸோ அதற்காக அந்த சோர்டே அவர்களுடைய பாராட்ட வேண்டும் அடுத்தது இந்த தபால்தலை சேகரிப்பு ரிகார்டிங் ஸ்டாம்ப் கலெக்ஷன் லெட் மி சுஜ் அவுட் இங்கிலீஷ் லாட் ஆஃப் பீப்புள் கண்ட்ரிபியூட்டட் இன்ஃபேக்ட் வி ஹேவ் டு மகேஷ் ஃபாதர் பாலகிருஷ்ண தாஸ் அண்ட் இஸ் பிரதர் தே ஆர் த பயனிட்ஸ் இன் ஸ்டார்டிங் திஸ் மூமெண்ட் ஸோ வி ஷுட் தேங்க் தம் They will take it to the future, definitely, I'm sure about it. Because of I could see the interest in each and every person, the young person who has participated in this exhibition. So it's a wonderful event. Another point is the wonderful booklet Nelson Sarr has prepared. Excellent indeed. Certainly every school should have it in their library. Excellent material he has made. And then we should thank Sashadri and Sridhar for conducting the quiz. Shere Shadri sir, I know, he is always interested in spreading this movement and I have seen already in under our process when I have visited, he used to give me a free stamps also, Australian stamps or something, to inculcate that habit. It's a great person indeed. So, and my neighbors also he has brought today, I saw, there are the young boys are all keenly interested in this philately. I think probably everybody has to do that. Uh, there is no other option this has to continue why this should continue like this may for one or two reasons this is the best way to get general knowledge uh, suppose somebody is right going to write a upsc exam there is no point in taking a general knowledge book and reading it if stamp collection is done right from the youth school days itself <coughs> automatically the general knowledge will come the moment you take the stamp what is the currency in it who is the president of the country so much information is there so automatically one need not memorize those names it will go course with your uh, uh, thought itself automatically they will be in a position to remember things and write because general knowledge doesn't come in a single day it is an effort over years and philately is the best way to get the general knowledge no doubt about it for example if you take a for example you take an album you see the mozambique initially it will be a mozambique company just like our east india company then it was annexed by portugal to go like british and then it became a free country so the right from mozambique to a company portugal and the free mozambique definitely you know the history of the country mozambique like that uh, the states in india the princely states of india so much information is available and another aspect is people are glued to mobile phone and uh, other things which i don't want to discuss at all perhaps if they involve themselves in philately it gives immense pleasure on seeing those stamps so this is the best way parents also can uh, give knowledge to the children and put them in a proper way that is the best way and philately has to be introduced by parents and it has to be nurtured by the parents and uh, the best thing is to take them to the exhibitions like that or take them to another or post office uh, they can see the permanent exhibits there and automatically the interest in philately will grow definitely and uh, recently i saw an article written by arun on dead countries it was really wonderful so people should know about that also so i think i am sure that this philately movement will grow and i am willing to give my part free lectures in every school only thing is post and telegraph department has to help what they do should do is i travel a lot actually post retirement i got some arbors and films advertisement and serial i refused <laughs> yes i was not interested in all those things it is not my cup of tea <laughs> what i am doing is i do outreach programs in schools on matter related to weather and climate and in some very rural schools even after first what you have to study that i talk 
So if it is a, <coughs> I am visiting a village or I am talking to a school, certainly I can give a lecture on philately too. Only thing is post office should talk to the school people there and arrange a lecture. So in addition to the usual lecture on whether I can another day or another afternoon somewhere, I can talk about philately also. So this way it should spread and I am ready to do a bit of my help and uh, definitely everybody I uh, think they can support me in this uh, thing. And uh, more, or more chapters should come in uh, different parts of Tamil Nadu so that uh, we can have a lot of exhibitions throughout. Uh, another thing is this my stamp I am not interested. It reduces the value of the stamp. So as for, I would request the post office to discourage and reduce the interest in my stamp. <laughs> <laughs> the moment they say my stamp, it will be equal to the, uh, these precious stamps also. <laughs> they are people consider it part of these stamps, which are assets. So I can talk and talk a lot, uh, but I had to put full stop somewhere. So let me put a full stop here. And I thank uh, Magesh sir for calling me to deliver the lecture. I thank one and all for all the support they have given during my tenure as a meteorologist. And even now, thank you all. Wonderful. Thanks.